Alright, back to comics and I'm back. This time I want to show off some of my big purchases I made so far for 2023. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So I ended up spending... Um, a little over $1,100 on this um, in-house auction, in-state I mean, uh, in Rhode Island. They have the uh, New Year's Day auction for um, Bruno and Company um, Auctioneer House. So uh, they did one last year, and they had some really cool, you know, big books. Um, and then this auction was um, also some pretty big books. Uh, this was part two of the Andy Yankus collection. Um, if you're not familiar with An Andy Yankus, he used to work for Marvel uh, back in the 70s, I believe. And um, all of these books were, and you know some of the artwork that they had during the auction were all part of his personal collection. So um, they did a big you know, collection for part one, and then this part two was for New Year's Day. So I ended up buying uh, three books um, from his collection. And it's not labeled, it's not like a pedigree or anything like that. It, um, it's, it's just notified that it's, you know, when they did the auction, that was part of the Andy Yankees collection. So, um, bought three books of his. Um, I was doing a little bit of research, just trying to see, you know, beforehand what I thought I, I could, you know, potentially pick up on a, a decent price. Or like some books that would have slipped under the radar that I thought, you know, I, you know, could have gotten for a good price. And, um... I was watching the auction pretty much throughout the day, and there were some pretty good books on there. He, you know, good variety of uh, DC, Marvel, um, a few Golden Age books that were, you know, that at least I was following that I didn't end up picking up. But um, I ended up getting uh, three books, and I'll, I'll show off what I got. And then I ended up going to the um, auction house, and then um, I actually met with the uh, the two auctioneers right as I was paying for it, so I'll show you, and then they ended up giving us some books too. So I'll show you what I picked up. Ended up, um, all in all, spending a little over $1,100, so this was definitely, like I said, my uh, biggest purchase so far of the year. Ended up, um, but it was split between three books, so um, it, it's not like I bought one big book for $1,100. Um, so first book, I've been trying to pick up some of like you know the um, sci-fi horror you know I like that's kind of like my my wheelhouse I like like the sci-fi and horror characters so uh, I did see this uh, really cool monster book show up I am a big fan of the character um, but I've never read this book or owned this book so uh, this was the first book I got this is from Marvel this is from 1970 yep 1973 this is Frankenstein issue number one. Uh, at a CGC 9.4. This is a really cool Mike Plug cover, and I do like Mike Plug's artwork, and uh, he, he does a really good job in this cover as well. It says, the most famous, most fearsome monster of all. Of course, that is Frankenstein. When you think of monsters, you always think of Frankenstein. And um, this is just a really cool cover. Um, let me see, what else to point out on this book? Uh, it just says Monster of Frankenstein on here. It is off white to white pages. Um, this book I got for a pretty good price. I ended up paying, uh, I think it was two seventy five, dollars So that was a pretty good price. Um, and then in the back, we got some Trap Cycles. <laughs> it's always pretty cool to see the uh, advertisings that they have in the back of these books, especially during the uh, Silver and Bronze Age. So uh, that was the first pickup. And then the last two books are going to be DC books. And, um, you know, one of my, um, I guess, goals for 2023 is to pick up some more DC books. I think DC is very undervalued. And, um, you know, obviously, I, it, DC's due. DC's due for the books that, you know, start finally going up in value. Not, like, necessarily to, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marvel, but, you know, they've been so undervalued for so long. And uh, I think we're finally starting to notice that, you know, more people are gravitating towards the DC books. And there's a lot of great characters that have not yet been explored. And uh, this was one of them. Um, I, I thought this was a really cool book. I do like the, so like I said, in Marvel, I'm a big fan of 
collecting Strange Tales. Um, it's just a great, great series. I guess the probably my equivalent to Strange Tales in DC is Strange Adventures. So there's a lot of great sci-fi covers, a lot of you know sci-fi, some cool horror, um, some cool space covers, and um, but this was a really neat cover. This came out in 1965, so we're talking Silver Age, and um, it's a Dave Wood story, Carmine Infantino uh, cover with Murphy Anderson, and this is Strange Adventures issue number 180. Uh, if you're not familiar with this book or if you've not seen this cover before, this is the first appearance of Animal Man, Buddy Baker. Um, and it actually shows it on the, on the cover there. I was the man with animal powers. Um, I could spring like a tiger, swim like a sea lion. I was as strong as a gorilla. Um, so, and then it's a cool cover. You got that, like, almost like that horror feel to it. Was I good enough to stop this living nightmare? Um, so it's not the first cover appearance of uh, Animal Man, but it is the first appearance and origin of uh, Ber Bernard Buddy Baker. So really cool book, um, really tough book, surprisingly, to get in high grade. Um, an 8.0 for this book is really tough. I was looking at some of the um, uh, prices, like GPA prices on these books, just to see what, you know, what potentially this goes for. And it's been probably average. Like once you get to an eight zero or higher, you, you're you're lucky if you get one sale a year. It, it's a tough book. I was looking, for example, I'll pull up some of the stuff on GPA right now for uh, issue one eighty, which is this book right here. There was only one sale, and the last sale was in March of twenty twenty one, and that went for looks like eight hundred dollars. So. That, that just shows it's a tough book. Um, prior to that, there was four sales in 2020 and then two in 2019. There's been none since 2021. Um, and then if you go even higher, you look at it, 8.5, same thing, just one sale, a 9.0 or one, one sale. And then uh, you go 9294, forget it. There hasn't been a sale in a few years. Um, so yeah, this is a really tough book in high grade. Once you start getting like 7.0 and lower, you get more sales, but not, not once you get it to 8.0. At, when I was looking recently at this one on eBay right now at an 8.5 that's going in for auction. So I'll be interested to see what that book, um, goes for to have an idea what potentially the fair market value is for this book. But, um, you know, I, I ended up getting that book for half at, during this auction. That's why I, I always recommend do your research. Do not buy the first book you see on eBay because sometimes you can get lucky and find these in smaller auction houses. So um, I ended up, you know, finding this for a great price. And then when I was just speaking of Strange Adventures, so we just showed you the first appearance in Origin of Buddy Baker, Animal Man. So I got, they also had a bunch of other Strange Adventures. Um, they did have first Dead Man, and um, some other like older, like Golden Age books too. Part of the Strange Adventures run, but um, the companion to Strange Adventures, I'd say, is issue number one ninety, which is the first cover appearance right here on, of Animal Man. So you got a man, the hero with animal powers, and then on the right we got Immortal Man, the hero who lived and died. <laughs> hundred times um, but I just love these I like I, I love these type of covers you know just great great artwork um, this is also just like issue 180 artwork done by Carmine Infantino and Murphy Anderson so just like the uh, prior uh, first appearance so another one 8.0 this came out a year later in uh, 1966 and um, it just basically says first animal man in costume, immortal man backup story. And then in the back, we got spitting image of the gun that won the West, Daisy. <laughs> uh, another, like I said, another book just like the prior, uh, tough to get in high grade. Um, when I was looking this book up as well, it's 
Obviously, this one is much, much more affordable than 180 is, but um, there's not many for sale on eBay as well. Uh, when I looked at just now, there's only two. Two listings on eBay, a 6.0 for 150 and then a 9.4 for $1,200. Wow. Uh, but that's it. It's, a, it's another one that doesn't go for sale often. If I'm go, going on GPA, um, I think you get more sales on this one than you do with the 180. Uh, let me just make sure on that. So let's see. Um, yeah, just one, two sales in 2022, three in 2021, two in 2020. Yeah, a little bit more frequent than uh, 180, but still really not much when you're talking about just single digits. So that's, yeah, not, not books you see, you know, graded often and especially in high grade. So, um, those are the three books I ended up picking up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about those books. Um, I, I think they're fantastic, if you ask me. And uh, like I said, I ended up, um, as I was cashing out, I ran into the two auctioneers there that you often see on their uh, on their page on IG. And um, I brought my son with me to uh, pick up the books, and he was asking, oh, do you want some books? You know, there's a little guy who wants some books. I was like, yeah, he loves some comic books. So uh, he ended up giving me like a small stack of books. Uh, they were like low grade, but they're all complete. They're all there. And I'll show you what he gave us. So first book, Captain America, issue number 127. And uh, this one says, Sea Cap battle for his life against both friend and foe. But as you can see, that it is low grade. It looks like it's been chewed on by some mice or something like that. But uh, it's all there, though, you know. Just great little reader, low, low grade copies. Uh, we got next book, Avengers number 77. There you go. We got another Captain America. We got Captain America issue number 120. It says Crack Up on Campus. Look at that. They're all neat little Silver Age books. We got Captain America issue number 124. And then the last one, we got Avengers number 17. You may have seen this book on my last IG post. So uh, great cover, early Avengers book, Four Against the Minotaur. Um, so those are the books he ended up giving me at the auction house. And then I had a little bit of time, so I ended up going to the, um, the comic shop nearby at, um, uh, I think it was, who was it? It was also in the same town as in Cranston. So um, I ended up just buying two books, uh, cheap, and just digging in the 50 cent bins. Ended up picking up Giant Size Avengers, issue number two. And uh, this is a great cover. Um, if you're a big fan of Kang the Conqueror, like I am, you'll definitely love this cover. You got some of the um, appearances here. You got Rama Tut, obviously Kang the Conqueror, and then you got obviously the Avengers team there on on the right, and uh, this is a pretty significant book. Um, you got Mantis revealed to be the Celestial Madonna. You got the death of the Swordsman, origin of Rama Tut, and then Hawkeye joins the Avengers. Uh, like I said, pretty important book, especially when it comes to uh, Kang the Conqueror. And then the last book I got, like I said, both of these were fifty cents. Is Spider Man issue number one. And uh, this is actually the first meeting between Miles Morales and Spider-Man, Peter Parker. So uh, pretty cool pickup as well. Not in really, you know, the best shape. You got a little bit, obviously, you can see some wear there at the bottom. But um, great to read, and it was only 50 cents. So you can't pass that up. But that's it. That was my, uh, my, my haul. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And then comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. But until next time, more Expect the Comics. Out.